Hello everybody and welcome back to Emily's Upcycled Home. Please shop my items on Facebook Marketplace with the link in the description. Follow me on my business page for updates, reels, and new items. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell for more DIY videos. For project number one here, I have these two frames. Now the backing was hard to come off, so I'm just going to come in and go over it and I'm using Sea Spray by Dixie Bell for texture and I'm coming in with that same bare chalk paint and I'm just gonna mix these up to give me some texture here and I'm just gonna go over the glass and the floral and then I decided to go over the frame as well. I was going to leave it but I went ahead and covered everything and then I come in I think with a second coat and go over the glass with that so first of all I'm just gonna come in and I'm thinking I'm gonna stipple it all but I go ahead eventually and just cover it first and then come back in with that stippling motion and I will do both of that to each frame After I coverage the whole thing in that bare white, I come in with that antique white by Folk Art. And then I'm going to come in with some IOD transfers here in the pots. And I already picked out two pieces that I wanted. It's like three coats of that antique white on top of these frames. And there is light distressing. I might come back and distress it a little bit more here. And when I'm saying distressing, that's just where the paint really didn't um get into the little nooks and crannies there but i'll probably come back and distress it and add a little bit more distressing now i picked two pot transfers already and this one has a saying with two little angels i believe on the side and i'm going to add that to the center of the piece or wherever i feel i want it and then i'm going to varnish with with the back of my plastic and then i did both to the same piece to the same frame i went ahead and added that other decoupage piece now i'm going to look for some flowers here and i just have all my little scrap pieces in this binder with the little plastic um folder holders and then i'm coming in with some flowers but i don't know have really anything that has flowers on it so i'm going to come in with this ild packet in the ephemeral melange packet and then i'm just going to come in with these peach roses here and we are going to add them to the corners and i'm just going to go ahead and cut them and trim them to where i want them eventually i just make out my own leaves out of the pieces you know these transfers don't have to be used exactly as they are pictured or printed you know use your imagination get your wheels turning and make your own creation out of these transfers and i'm just going to go ahead and add these to the corners and then i'll piece together some greenery pieces that i want to embellish those edges as well and like i said in some of the greenery pieces i needed smaller leaves so i went ahead and cut out my own leaf patterns on some of them
I just want to take a minute here and let you know you guys can catch me live every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time over on my Facebook business page. Moving on to project number two. I have another one of these domes and this was a larger one that I've had. And I'm going to go ahead and shabby chic this little dome up. And we're going to be using some molds and we're going to come in with that same antique or antique white by folk art and we're going to go ahead and paste paint the base and then you're going to see me come in and paint the little knob topper on the glass So here I want to add a little hanging label. So I come in with my cameo modes from ILD and we're going to print out one of these little um, cameo pieces. And I'm using air dry clay by ILD as well. And I want this to hang on the side, you know, like a tag. But then I come in and I decide to add something to the top. So we'll see if I really incorporate this piece. But I'm just using the cameo mold, the paper clay, and then with the pen, I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole in that. Now from one of these molds, they had some roses. So then I decided to go ahead and make some mini roses to go around the knob here. And I'm just coming in with my Gorilla Glue and I'm painting the bottom, backs and then I'm gonna line these up around the top, around the knob. And then of course I'm gonna have to let these dry overnight. So we'll come back and see how we're gonna finish this up. I hope you can see the little rosettes there. So now I already painted that top and I'm gonna come in with these transfers here. And I believe I got these on Amazon. I'm gonna have to look for them to post them for you guys. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add one of these floral transfers to the center. And then we'll come in and we will distress this whole piece. Now it came with this little tool, but I didn't like it. So I go ahead and sticked with my little wood stick here. Add that transfer on. And then you're going to see me come in and distress all the edges here. Just to bring back some of that wood tone. And give it a little bit of a, I guess, a little aged look here. And I just go around all the whole piece. And then um, I go ahead and come in with some min wax finishing paste here and i'm just going to add that wax all over this piece to seal it and it's just like any wax you add it on and you wipe off all the excess and the more you buff with this wax like any wax is the the shinier it's going to become i go ahead and add some to the top where we placed that moldings and then i come in with our distress ink pads in the color walnut and I go ahead and add some of that distressing. And with my finger, I just kind of blend in that into the roses, hoping that it pulls out some of that detail on the petals. And then I'll come back in with my finger and go over that with some more min wax here just to protect the full um, paint and the layer of the ink that we added. Now for the top, I'm going to come in and we're going to go ahead and embellish the glass here. And I'm just going to add all these little leaf patterns to the top and just kind of like make them look like they're coming from the, the roses and draping down into the glass dome. And then I will come in with some IOD pot transfers, just a little piece that I like and the wording I like. And then... I'll go ahead and add that to the bottom there and then um, this project will be finished. Moving on to project number three, I'm going to create a book stack here with the raw pages. Now I'm still keeping in with the kind of that French country shabby chic theme here and I'm just ripping apart the books here and um, the first book just came apart so you'll see me um, separate that even further but as right for right now I'm just taking off all the top layers of the pages and none of these papers will go to waste if you're not if you're not watching my junk journal Sundays I'm gonna go ahead and use these scrap pieces of paper in my junk journal 
and um, I'm going to come in with the sandpaper and I'm just going to sand up all that paper that was left remaining there that didn't really come off and this doesn't give you that old rustic look that you really want from like old books so then we're just going to go ahead and come in and paint that and here you see me coming in because this book is falling apart so I'm just going to come in and make a third little book and then I'm going to layer that behind the larger book so it looks like we have um, a four piece little book stack here so I'm just going to come back in with my sandpaper and you see that mess because I didn't clean up my dark wax that I had there but it's okay so I'm going to go ahead and come in with that same folk art antique white paint and I'm going to paint all sides not all sides the this side of the books where we sanded and I'm just going to add a thin layer not worried about full, full coverage because we want some of that paper to show through and look a little bit aged here but I'm just going to come in and um, paint those sides and then you're going to see me come in here with just whatever remaining um, dark waxes on my brush and go heavier on the outside corners and then gently and lightly wipe down the centers um, still with that white that wet paint and then we're going to come in here and we're going to bind all our books together now what i chose to bind them with is just some this fat um, cloth covered wire here and i believe i got this at amazon got it off amazon i can't be sure but i'll try to link it for you if i can find it and it's just a brown color um, wire here very thin and easy to work with and I'm going to go ahead and bind all these books here with this wire tightening it and then um, getting the placement of my ribbon where I want and then we'll go ahead and tighten up the two sides of that twine twisting it just to tighten up and bind all the books together now I've seen people go the long way. I haven't done a book stack like that yet. Maybe that'll be in the future. But for right now, I'm going in the short way and binding those together. And then you're going to see me come in here and work with the top. And add a cameo piece here to the side. Now I, this is ILD cameo molds. And I'm also using the ILD clay. I used to use the DOS clay a lot, but I found I'm trying this clay out and I actually like it. It's not as sticky and it's a little bit thicker and easier to work with. And um, I didn't put any cornstarch in there, but you know, you want to put something in your mold so that your product or your clay falls out a little bit easier. But this clay is very easy to work with. It's thicker. It's it's a great consistency so I might be switching over to this clay as well but um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up these cameo modes with whatever little piece of clay I have here and whatever I don't use here will go like I said on um, junk journal Sundays if you're watching those if you're not go ahead and stop by every Sunday's video will be a junk journal Sunday video now like I said I'm just trying not to waste this piece of clay and I'm just filling in whatever little pieces I can and picking some out. Now for my clay there, I have it in a plastic bag. Um, you wanna make sure it's wrapped tightly and I also have a wet paper towel in there just to help keep the moisture in the bag and so that my clay doesn't dry out. Now I have all these pieces um, filled in the cameo modes and then I'm gonna go ahead and take these pieces out now considering I didn't put any cornstarch on them or any flour or anything like that they came out fairly easy except for this one right here was giving me a little problem and looking more into this um, cameo piece here I realized her face is kind of chopped off so I'm going to go back in here and um, press a little bit harder so that the clay falls into the molding and her face is exposed it looked like her nose was chopped off, which I guess is a look, right? If you had an old statue, maybe it chipped apart. 
but that was not the look I'm going for. So we're going to go ahead and repeat that process and we're going to take it out again and um, it did correct her face there so you can see it a little bit better her silhouette so and then I'm just going to go ahead and remove the rest of the pieces and I'm going to add that first large cameo to the top here and I'm thinking that I put the wire through but you're going to see me later come out and just take it out from there and I have this sprig of greenery here I got from Hobby Lobby and I, it's I think they're pretty and it's like a deeper green color and I'm just gonna put a sprig into that wire and just hold it there and I'm not gonna glue that in but I am gonna come in with this ribbon here and this is a Hobby Lobby ribbon and it's kind of just like a I don't know maybe kind of like a burlap kind of look but it looks like it has lines in it to where fabrics were bound together and I'm just once again wrapped that twine around that bow area and then I'm coming in with my hot glue here and we're going to glue that together. Now those little tags are coming up and I want them to stay in place so I'm just going to add a little dab of hot glue to the ends of the tails of the ribbon and then glue those where I want them. And then this is where I decide to take off the mold from having it hang there. Mind you the medallion wasn't even dry either so it was just making a larger hole because I'm so impatient but I went ahead and decided to add it to the top here without adding any loop or anything through it and I come in with my hot glue gun and I'm going to add that to the side and then I come in with this smaller one and add that underneath the bow. Now I'm going to have to set these books aside and let them the medallions dry but first I'm going to come in with some little scrap pieces once again from the IOD pots transfers and I'm going to add some little wording and dates to the side here. Now I think I'm just going to go ahead and add that wording to this larger book and leave the smaller ones as is and I found a date there and then on the other side I'll go ahead and add a little bit of wording. And then we're going to set this aside to let dry. And a note here, hot glue and wet molding does not stick. So <clears throat> since I have these off, I'm going to go ahead and distress them with our distressing ink. And I'm just going to rub the pad on here, blending it in. And then you're going to see me come in and cover that a little with the same vintage white paint and kind of blend in that distressing and the look of the medallion so it's not so splotchy or the cameo. And then I do the same thing for the little one. And for this one, I find a little scrap transfer from Prima um, Molds, Prima um, label here. And I go ahead and add that into the little um, circle just to give it some character. And then I decide to go ahead and add another sprig of greenery. And our last step here is to come in with that distressing ink and kind of highlight where the books separate and then repeat that process on the pages. And here are the finished products.
Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of these projects. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.